Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I am your host, Sean Farrell. Um, I have recently made some changes. Um, if you may have not have known, um, I do have my mic with me. There you go. You probably can't see it, but you know, um, I'm gonna probably gonna lean in a little, little bit, um, just so you all can hear me. Um, but um, I think you all should be able to hear me uh, pretty good. Um, okay. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, God is great all the time. All the time, God is great. And um, let's get right, right to it, shall we? Let's move the mic a little closer. A little bit to, to the edge. So, you know, I won't have to lean over so much, but. Um, there was a, um, Stanford Cardinals, uh, soccer player. If you all have not seen this, um, in the news, um, there was a Stanford soccer player on the women's team by the name of Katie Meyer. Okay. And, um, she was a soccer captain for the uh, Stanford Cardinals um, women's soccer team. She made two crucial saves to beat North Carolina for the 2019 NCAA Women's Championship. Um, she was always smiling all the time. Um, always smiling. Um, unfortunately and tragically, she died by suicide. Okay. And, um, she died by suicide and, um, the thing about it is, um, she had just spoken to her um, parents like hours, like hours before um she ended up taking her own life and so um that's the thing about it she just got done speaking to her parents um just hours before she took her own life and so um i saw the interview that they did on i saw the video of the interview that they did on the Today show, I believe. And um it was pretty gut wrenching to say hey the least. Um it was sad. Um there were tears um from her parents, not only from her parents, but from the um from one of the today show hosts that interviewed her parents. And so, um, that was pretty, pretty heavy. That was, a, that was a pretty heavy thing to watch. Um, I know one of the things that her parents wanted was, um, just to, um, like start the, um, start a nationwide, um, conversation about mental health. And, um, just look for the signs or whatnot. Um, the thing about it is her parents in the interview, um, said she showed zero signs of, um, of, um, ending, ending of wanting to end her life. She so. She showed zero signs of that. And so, um, I just wrote her some things down. Um, this kind of happens with, um, student athletes, um, <clears throat> both male and female. Um, there is anxiety 
and stress to be perfect. Um, the rate of depression and anxiety has actually doubled among college students over the past day. Hey, Kate. Um, that's from Daniel Eisenberg, professor of health and policy management at UCLA. Um, there was a 2019 NCAA study that found that 30% of participating female athletes felt difficulties were piling up so high that they could not overcome them. Um, 37% of female student athletes reported being satisfied with the mental health care received from the team or the college medical personnel. And that was compared to 46% for the males. And um, emphasis is often placed on performance instead of overall well being, the intense pressure to succeed with a little consideration on the mental toll and so um just all of those things were piling up um all those things were piling up um but the one thing that really got me was um She was actually defending a teammate. She was defending a teammate of hers. And um, she was defending a teammate. And she defended her teammate. And in the process of defending her teammate, um, I guess the school, Stanford, was actually about to discipline her for defending her teammate, okay? So Stanford was about to discipline her. This is what I read in the story, and this is what her parents said. Um, They were about to discipline her, and she knew that discipline was coming, and apparently, that, and apparently, the oncoming discipline triggered her. She knew discipline was coming. She might have been kicked off, off the team. She may was have been on the verge of being kicked off the team. I don't know, but discipline was coming and she got triggered by I, that. And I guess that's what that was the um, real cause of um, her um, ending her life by suicide. Um, discipline was coming for her. She got triggered, and um, I guess she didn't want to face the discipline. She didn't want to be kicked off, off to the team. So, so yeah, so yeah. Um, but man, um. Man, uh, that was pretty heavy. That was a pretty heavy interview with her parents. Yeah, that was a pretty heavy interview that the Today Show did with her parents. And, um, man, it was heavy. It was heart wrenching. It was sad. Um, yeah. 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 That was a pretty heavy story. Um So no, this is why no. This is why I um discuss suicide so openly. I'm not afraid to discuss it. I'm not afraid to talk about it. Um, 
for those who for those of you who watch my channel, you know I struggle with it. Friends know I struggle with it. My girlfriend knows I struggle with it. Family members know I struggle with it. And so um Let's just have, have a conversation. Let's just continue to have the uh, conversation about um, suicide, not just about suicide, but mental health in general. You know, um, you never know what somebody's going home and through. You never know what somebody is going home and through. And um, yeah, yeah. Um, again, um, I have the, um, suicide warning signs, threatening to hurt or kill oneself, talking about wanting to kill oneself, looking for ways to kill by seeking access to kill oneself. I mean, by seeking access to firearms pills, other means, talking about death, dying, or suicide, when these actions are out of the ordinary for the person, feeling hopeless, feeling rage, uncontrolled anger, or seeking revenge, um, acting reckless, feeling trapped like there's no way out, increasing alcohol, drug use, withdrawing from friends, family, and society, Feeling anxious, agitated, unable to sleep or sleeping all the time. Experiencing dramatic mood changes. Seeing no reason for living or having um, no sense of purpose in life. Um, put that right there. Yeah. So. Those are just some of the suicide warning signs. Um other warning signs um i would say the one super warning sign to reach out i don't know not reach out but to look, look out for is when they talk about it all the time then all the then all of a sudden they just seem at peace they just seem at peace They've talked about suicide for a while, but all of a sudden they're at peace. No, they don't talk about it no more. They're happy. No, that would be the super warning sign to look out for. So, so yeah, but, um, yeah, um, Katie Meyer died by suicide. Um, yeah. That was he heavy, man. That was heavy. That was pretty heavy interview to watch. Probably even a little bit more heavy and gut wrenching, heart wrenching to read. But this is why I talk about suicide. This is why I tell my story. Um, this is why I did a Dahaki Henry. Um, um, discussing um some of the some of the things that happened to me that led me to think about suicide, a suicide attempt. Um. So yeah. Um, this is why I tell my, uh, my story, um, be very open and, um, just continue to, um, you no know, discuss suicide, get the mental health conversation way out, um, in the nation. Um, so yeah, all right. Um, 
man, this thing, man, this mic right here, I really like it. <laughs> I'm really loving this new, new mic. Um, hopefully y'all can hear me he better. Um, but other than that, um, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, documentary update. Um, everything has been finished and, um, it's being put together as we speak. So I would say towards the end of March, early April is probably when I will actually see it. Um, I have actually asked for a, um, a snip it or what they call, or a trailer. Um, so, um, I'm going to see if I can, um, get that. And, um, can't wait for y'all to see it. All right. This has been, this has been pretty good. Um, this mic right here, um, <laughs> can't stop talking about this new new mic because he's so uh, cool anyway god bless you all thank you for watching my channel i am sean pharrell i am out of here god bless y'all